And now back to our regularly scheduled shows. Hey guys, Glock 42. Uh, back to normal. Uh, Freddy Flame was something a little bit different, but this is uh, this is the meat and potatoes and the bread and butter. What I like to build is is armor, uh, modern armor, World War II armor. I'm starting a World War One armor, which uh, first I, I did a 72 scale one, but the first uh, 30. Fifth scale one is on the bench. I'll, I'll get that. Uh, I'll get that done up tomorrow. She's getting late. Gosh, it's already almost midnight here, Mountain Standard Time. I've been running around <laughs> two, three, four o'clock in the morning some days. <laughs> uh, work's been non-existent. I've worked uh, worked two days in the entire month of January. I'm scheduled to go out on Wednesday for another day. So the uh, the cheap oil prices have certainly. Um, they're great. They're great at the pump, you know. I'm going to be able to have, uh, you know, uh, drive into the unemployment office. I'm sure it'll be cheap gas, but uh, if this keeps up, I, I just may be heading off there. So anyway, this is the a very nice Tamiya Leclerc in 35th scale. I would put this as a highly recommended kit on sale. I've seen this as high as $90 Canadian. And uh, I'm sorry, but no kit is worth $90. You know, it better come with a better come with a good looking blonde and a couple of Hummers for 90 bucks, I tell you. But uh, anyway, I got this one on sale. It was it was about 43 taxes in. So that's not bad. I think it was about 40 bucks. So once you get the taxes figured in, whatever that comes out to. Good kit, typical Tamiya. Once again, um, a lot of the uh, bigger grab handles I um, I replaced with wire. Some of the grab handles are just solid chunks of plastic, as Tamiya is, is wont to do. And uh, one of the one of the odd things that Tamiya came up with on this one is that the running gear is all white metal, so it really gives the tanker a real heavy. You know, quite, it feels quite heavy in your hands. And of course, it really meets the ground quite nicely. So that's something different. Um, this is such a pretty tank. I had a really hard time getting any heavy weathering on it. It's painted up in the standard NATO, in the standard French uh, scheme. Uh, the French green is just a little bit lighter than standard uh, NATO green. So what I did was put a little bit of yellow in it, and the brown is slightly lighter too. So I put a little bit of uh, uh, to me a yellow in it as well just to lighten it up a bit. I also did it, um, some of the pictures I've seen there, they're hard edge and some of them are a real soft feather. So what I did, I didn't do any mask on this. I, I freehand the whole the whole thing with my Iowata airbrush and it turned out really nice. I know a couple months ago, I had mentioned that I was having a hell of a time with Tamiya paints going on really dusty and giving me a really rough pebbled surface. And a fellow, I wish I could remember his name and give him the props, he said, you know, put some paint retarder in it. So I went and got some Tamiya retarder and I uh, mixed it up a little bit of uh, some clear with the paint, Tamiya clear, as well as some Tamiya, uh, the paint retarder, and it went on like glass. And as you can see, yeah, there's some shadow, there's some shine to it. It, uh, it was re really high gloss. I put the decals on. The decals are, Tamiya decals are funny. Some kits are just superb. Other kits are thick and heavy and and kind of nasty and and these were pretty thick, heavy um, decals. They didn't respond well to solution. Um, a couple of ones, the decals on the uh, on the um, fire extinguishers, they just broke up and came apart when I put the superset on them. Um, usually I use Microsol, but they're not sorry, not Microsol. I usually use uh, Hasegawa Mark Softener. And uh, they didn't work with the dam, so we finally got the decal sorted out. We got them on. Uh, this one really got this one right here. It really got buggered up badly. But um, put it all on, and I flattened it right down, and it looked like hell. I'm like ew, that's gross. So <laughs> I threw some. Uh, I went and did a, a little bit of semi gloss to it, and I really like the look of this. It's, it's a pretty tank. You know, um, so I didn't want to beat it all up and do a whole bunch of dust and 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 get it beat right up. So all I've done was I uh, gave all the panel lines a pin wash and did a little bit of dusting with Tamiya 
Tamiya powder on the sides and the front just to get a little bit of a dust. Most of the pictures you see of these things, they look like they just pulled out of the, the detail shop. Unless they're actually out on maneuvers. And I, I was originally going to trash this one up pretty hard and, and mud it right up and throw some snow on it and put it in a little scene. But it just turned out so damn pretty. I didn't want to bugger it up. You know, that happens once in a while with a model. It's like, oh, that's just way too pretty to bugger up. I can do that with World War II stuff and maybe some other things. You know, if I ever found this uh, on sale again, I'd, I'd pick up another one and then and uh, and do it like that. Originally, I was going to do it in the um, like the United Arab Emirates color of a two-tone uh, brown. Uh, Normal Joe on his channel, he's got one like that, and it looks superb. That's that's actually why I got this kit when I seen his. But I thought, well, you know what? I haven't done a NATO tri scheme in, in ages, in tons and tons of time. So there you have it, guys. The Tamita one, Tamiya one thirty-fifth scale Leclerc. And and just one word on this uh, on this figure. It's a really nice figure. Um, I painted it up in the what are the what are the French use? It's called the Central Central European camouflage scheme. I did it up with Vallejo paints, and it was a it was a little bit of a challenge, but I really like the way he turned out. The figure turned out really well, and I'm quite happy with him. Um, so. Anyway, guys, so there it is. I hope you like it. Something different from me. I'm going to try and uh, get my head out of my ass. I've been, like I said, 2015 in my last video. It has not been just superb for me. Uh, lack of work, and I lost a really good friend very suddenly and very violently at the beginning of the year. That, that threw me. Still, uh, still bothers me. Anyway, um, that's enough of that. And, uh, guys, take care. I uh, want to see some more model works out of you guys. And uh, later, boys.